So we're going to lay on our back. And I want to bring this breath, this action of breath, into my baby rolls because I want my, baby, my breath to tell me how far I can move and where my edges are. And I want that to be more uh, the bigger indicator of my movement um, than pain. If I'm going into pain, that means I passed the point of which my breath was cueing me in. So I want to, I don't want, I want to be less sensitive about the pain scale. Um, other than if you're on the pain scale, you need to back up and find the breath scale. The breath scale comes before it. Hopefully that makes sense, or if it does not, it will make sense. So I got my, I'm starting with my arms overhead, and I want to think like a baby here. So I got my eye, you know, when babies are born, we got eye movement and finger movement, hand movement, but they're not really tied together. They're kind of all over the place. And then all of a sudden, it's discovery. Oh my God, these things are mine. They're so cool. What do they taste like? And then the next part is, look at that cool plastic toy that everybody buys me. I want it. And we reach with our eyeballs and our fingers and that is what starts to draw length into our body and integrates our core. So I want to think from that very first developmental stage of my eyeballs and my fingertips lead movement. Everything else doesn't even know how to work, so there's no action, there's no tension in the rest of the body yet. This is where breath comes in. So starting out, reaching across, seeing how far you can reach. Inhale before you reach, exhale with the reach. See how long, you, how long you can get from fingertips to your shoulders. Inhale, coming back to center. Opposite side, same thing. Exhale, reach. As you're doing this, you may notice as you reach to one side that you're, I'm reaching with my left hand, you may find that your same side leg wants to push down in order to assist. If you feel that, soften that foot. Let it soften so that all the reach is coming from eyeballs and fingertips. I'm noticing that when I reach across with my left side, my left, or my right, when I'm reaching with my right hand, my right foot wants to get more involved. When I reach with my left, it's a lot easier. So I have an imbalance neurologically and I'm working on turning off that right side. I also have some stiffness. I don't move as far when I reach with my right side. Now we're gonna bring it down to our legs. So I'm still reaching, I'm, I, I wanna have the same intention of reaching from my toes and even a little bit from my eyes so I can kind of look to see where I want to reach and then I'm reaching and extending from the toes and that's pulling my hip over. I'm not lifting my hip and then reaching. My hip gets pulled because I'm trying to touch something with my toes and I feel that length coming up my body. And I'm going side to side with this. Again, cueing in my breath before I reach, inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, coming back. The way the breath becomes an indicator of how far you can go is as if you have this nice inhale, as you exhale, all of a sudden, oh, I'm holding my breath. That's where, that's your end range. You've already passed your end range. So if you're finding there's a point where you breath hold, where you find that point, reach up to it, and then you can have another, take another breath, exhale, reach a little bit more without losing your breath, inhale, Exhale, reach a little bit more without losing your breath. And then come back and do the same thing on the other side. And again, noticing the difference of how does it feel reaching with one leg compared to the other. My right leg, as I reach across, I have a lot more restriction in my right side lower back. I don't feel like I get as far. Left side, I feel like I can reach for days. And then we're going to roll over onto our stomach nice and softly and slowly, bringing my arms up so that my elbows are tight to my ears. And again, I want to bring in my eyes on this one. 
So I want to look up into the corners of my eyes like I'm trying to see, can I see the ceiling looking up into the corners as I lift my elbow with that, I'm sending my elbow where my eyes are going. As I roll over slightly, my eyes are continuing to reach into the corner. And then coming back and doing the same thing on the other side, looking over the next corner, lifting that elbow. I want to keep my elbow tight to my head and my ear. I don't want my arm to come out to the side. I'm not reaching from here. I want to keep my arms overhead, elbows tight to ear, as I'm looking and seeing how far I can roll, roll over. As I do this movement, my knee is allowed to slide up. I'm not sliding it up, but as my shoulder rolls over, it kind of pulls my knee. I'm not going to hold it. I'm not adding any tension. I will uh, move it back as I come back down. And again, paying attention to left side to right side. As I roll with my left shoulder, I feel like I have more ease and more movement. As I reach and roll with my right shoulder, I feel more restriction in that right side low back. All right, so now we're going to flip back over onto our back, and we're going to start going into uh, more rolling patterns. Oh, I forgot one. Sorry. Coming back to our belly. One more. We've got to reach from our legs. So, still got my arms overhead. I'm lifting my knee as high as I can to the ceiling. And on this one, I'm not using my eyes but I'm still reaching from my toes. And because we're doing this, this is the position, I wanna keep that knee high. If I let my leg drop, it's gonna pinch at my hip or my low back. So as I lift that leg, I wanna keep it high. I wanna reach kind of high, like I'm trying to touch Skeletor's hip, like I'm trying to touch his pelvis. I don't wanna to try to touch the floor. And again, cueing in breath. Inhale, exhale, and reach. The shoulder is allowed to get lifted from the floor. I don't want to lift my shoulder from the floor. I shouldn't push down through my hand in order to make this happen. I shouldn't have to. I should be able to be soft in my upper body as I lift and reach on the exhale. This movement may be small, and that's okay, because we're cueing it into breath. Now, if you had significant breath, we're going to flip it over onto our back. If you had significant breath restrictions, I want you to continue to just work up to the edge of that breath, taking in, if you find, oh, breath hold, playing with breath to see if it gives you more range of motion. If you didn't have any breath restrictions or they were really, really minor, we're going to go into full rolls, especially if there's no pain. I don't want to do full baby rolls if there's, if there's back pain. So from belly, we're going to start by reaching using our eyeballs, exhaling, and allowing that breath to keep reaching in so that we feel our lower body get drawn all the way over so that we're on our belly. And then immediately, I reached with my left hand, so I'm going to now lift my left foot and reach back across with my left foot letting my foot pull my shoulders over so that I'm back onto my back. And then I'm going to reach from right hand, reaching across, and this side's much more restrictive, reaching until I spiral all the way over, hips until I'm on my belly, and then immediately lifting right foot high, reaching across, letting that pull my shoulders across. And we'll do these, uh, let's do three to five times back and forth. So we're knocking out two baby rolls at once, reaching from the fingers and reaching from the toes. One from supine and the other prone. And you can compare how does it feel moving in one direction compared to moving in the other direction. This right side, reaching from my right hand and my right foot, so much more restriction in my low back that I feel it getting some really juicy stretches in there. 
I feel it slowly getting more length and giving me more access to this movement. I also feel some tightness and stretch on the other side, so I'm not only focusing on the side that is loudest. I want balance. I'm trying to see if I can get them to feel more similar than dissimilar. juicy stretch there. And then we're going to roll over onto our belly. So from belly, now I'm coming back to my lifting elbow up to the ceiling, eyes going into the corners. I'm continuing to look, look, look. My knee starts to slide up and then my hips roll over last. And as soon as I roll over, I'm going straight back into my leg, reaching back across so it draws me all the way over. And then doing the same thing on the other side. Lifting elbow, looking through the eyes, reaching, feeling the hips get pulled over so I'm on my back. And then immediately taking that same foot, reaching across like I'm trying to touch Skeletor, feeling that draw my shoulders over so I'm on my belly. I want to avoid pain. This should not be a painful range of motion. If there's pain in the shoulders or in the back, then um, contact, you know, let me know after class, send me a message, get on my schedule so we can talk about how to deal with that pain so that you can get back into doing baby rolls without pain. Again, doing three to five reps. 